Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing at GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to download the Sentinel data from the Copernicus open access website. So we just need to go here and search here Copernicus open access hub. After searching this, we need to click here. After that, you will see we have landed to the Copernicus open access hub. So here we need to go down and just need to click on open hub. After that, you will see this website where we can able to download the Sentinel-2 data. So from here, first you need to create your account. So just click on the sign up option. So here you need to provide your first name, last name, then password, email ID. So all these things you need to provide. After that, your account will be created. You will get a link to your email address. There you need to confirm. So after that, when you will log in here, okay, so you will see the login is successful. After that, we can change the layer from here. Okay, suppose you want this open straight or you want terrain plus overlay or you just want Sentinel-2 cloudless plus overlay. So I'm clicking here Sentinel-2 cloudless. So after that, you go to your desired area where you want to download your satellite imagery and here you need to select a particular area for that area you, you want to download the sentinel 2 image so from here switch to navigation mode so just click here okay after that we need to click our st interested study area okay so left click, use your left click on the mouse and when you want to finish it, just double click. Okay. So this area I'm interested to download the Sentinel data. So after that, just click here. Okay. And select here sensing data. After that, I will select a descending order by descending. If you want a particular date, we can select a particular date. Suppose I want from the 2021 or 2020 first or any particular date so you select your particular desired date after that we just need to come down and select here that is a sentinel 2 okay after selection this sentinel 2 we just need to click on the product type and what product you want to download so i will select this s2m si2a Okay, then this cloud cover. So just copy this and paste it here. And I want a less cloud cover. Suppose I want up to three, zero to three percent cloud cover. What are the image are there that only I, I want? Just click here. So you will see all the tiles is coming here and suppose I will select this view product details. So you will see this area it is covering this much of area this tile is covering after that you will see all the information. So this is the 2022 then this is the date is given then time of time of the image okay after that you will see the product option this is 1.05 gb size then you will see the cloud cover and all the information is given there so if you want to download we just need to click here to download option so see this image is now downloading so this way you can able to see how many path or how many path are coming in your areas okay so you need to select all the path okay what are the path are coming in your area and after that you can mosaic that in arcgis or qgis so you just need to see which area it is covering or which part of the your study area it is covering so you can download that images and you can mosaic it later so this way you can able to download it very easily so now after downloading it you will see this kind of file after that you just need to 
right click and extract file option is there. So just click on the OK. So this way you can able to extract this file. Now we can open this file in our ArcGIS environment. So let, I will go here and I will paste it. So click on the granules, then image data. And here the, all the tiles is coming. So you can take whatever the desired tile you want. And now you can able to use this for your analysis. You can create a band composite. You can create a LULC from this image. So you can use this image for many applications. This way you can able to download the Sentinel-2 imagery very easily. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.